How's it going, everyone? Welcome back in. I am Justin Smith, the director of recruiting for Touchdown Alabama. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on our YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, subscribe and hit the notification bell, be notified when we drop content on our YouTube channel. Back into the film room, back here to break down some of the Crimson Tide's top 2024 targets. Today we're taking a look at four-star running back Kevin Riley out of Tuscaloosa County High School in Northport, Alabama, one of the top running backs inside the state and also one of the top running backs in the country the crimson todd have offered him and the crimson todd are expected to be, the, be one of the top schools in this recruitment he currently stands at five foot eleven six foot weighs approximately 190 pounds let's take a look at riley because he's a prospect to know when you take a look at his film you're going to be really impressed with what he brings to the table let's see him as the running back here on his first play of course we have john ivory rolling the film and get everything rolling for us today let's see riley get it and he's gonna explode He's gonna explode, man. That's all. Of, that's that's <laughs> that is the simplest way that I could describe that first play. We're gonna rewind that play again and show it up once again. He's gonna work through here, see the opening, and he's gonna explode. Like, look, if he saw the hole open, hit another gear, and he exploded through the hole. So this is a guy who hits the hole really hard, really explosive, quick burst, quick acceleration. Seems to get to that top speed really, really quickly. He's gonna basically get the ball outside here. Gonna work up the field. Boom, boom, explode. Seems if he hits a second gear. He like he's, he looks if he hits another gear when he gets into the open field. We're going to go to the beginning of that one as well. You see, him being, you see him being patient as he works through things here. And when he gets the football, patient. Let his block set up. Patient. Boom, 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 boom. Another gear. Explodes to the open field. 5'11", 190 pounds. Great frame. Great size. Great length. Checks the, checks the box when it comes to size. But that explosiveness and that speed and that ability to basically just outrun people and also be a guy who is not going to go down easy, easily. It is easy to see why, over the, just by looking at the first couple of plays, why he's one of the top running backs in the country. So we're going to see him catch the football out of the backfield here. Had to go down to the ground to get that one. See if we can catch the football out of the backfield for Tuscaloosa County. Get the football once again, be patient. Yeah, he's not, you're not going to catch him. When he gets to the open field, he's not going to get caught. He's not going to get caught when he gets into the open field with that type of speed. So we know this guy has a lot of speed, but he's also a physical runner, as we're going to see a little bit later in his film. Like I said, I really like that patience. That patience is really, really impressive as well. His ability to just sift through traffic and everything, and once he gets to the open field, seems to hit another gear. So that's, this is the physicality that I was talking about. You better bring your arms. You better bring your arms, man. You better bring your pads in your arms, man. They, they were trying to arm tackle him. Go back to that play. You can't arm tackle that guy. You can't arm tackle this kid. You got to bring your pads, man. They was, they said, I see a whole bunch of arm tackling here. Arm tackle is not going to work. Arm tackle is not. You got you to gotta bring your pads. You got to bring your pads. You see the physicality that he runs with right there. Playing running back once again. So we're seeing some more of his physical runs right there. He's gonna get. He's a guy who's playing. Uh, play, he's playing against seven, eight programs. Of course, this gets real trust with high school. I know that for a fact. Now Alabama commit is on that um defense right there. We can go to the beginning of that play. Alabama's um four star signing Hunter Osborne is on that defense right there. But Kevin Rod's gonna work through. He's gonna get stopped up. He's gonna get back to the outside. And like I said, no one's gonna catch him when he gets into the open field. I think that's Ricky Gibson who was um um trying to catch him. Go back to the beginning. Go back to that play. I actually got to break it down a little bit more. We can stop right here. But like I said, he's playing at seven A school, so he's playing at Hurt Trustville High School. I think number six at the bottom of the screen is Ricky Gibson, who reportedly runs a four three um for the Huskies. He almost caught Kevin Riley, but you can see Riley uh, Riley speed on this play here. Like I said, number six who's going to chase Riley on this play reportedly runs a four three. So we get to play rolling back now, John. So we're going to see Riley gets up the field. Like I said, number six is going to be close to getting. Like I said, he's a 4 3 guy. But <laughs> Riley rolls in and gets the touchdown for Tuscaloosa County. We got a screen play here. I right, get it in. Like I said, that, that explosiveness. Gets up the field with these. Running back long, running back in the backfield. That's so quick, man. I think that's something else. He's really quick. Ooh, got to run that play. Yeah, he's really quick. We can run that last play, too. He's really quick as well. I think that's something else to know. He's 
quick and fast if you get what i'm saying like he's elusive in in tight quarters so he's able to make some nice food with nice nice moves with his footwork but like i said once he gets to the open field still hits that gear and like i said you're trying to arm tackle this guy you're not going to be able to arm tackle him. you're going to have to bring your pass Woo! <laughs> he just running over people right now. The last play right here. Pay I really like this kid's patience as well when he's running behind his blocker. He lets his blocks set up. Really impressed. Really impressed with that when it comes to a high school running back. He's also a guy who can run behind his pass. You see him running over people. Arm tackling is not going to work. You're going to need that type of physicality, that type of toughness to be a running back at the Power Five football level, especially in the SEC. The thing I'm most impressed with is that speed, that acceleration, that quick burst that he seems to get to when he gets into the open field, that second gear that he seems to hit when he gets into the open field. So he's really quick, really elusive in tight quarters as well. I think he has the full package. You can catch the football out of the backfield. Of course, he's going to be considering a lot of different programs before he announces a commitment in the future. Northport, Alabama, Tuscaloosa County High School. So it is no secret that he's right around the corner from the University of Alabama. So we see how that plays out as Crimson Tide will look to go after him and many other running backs in this 2024 recruiting class. I expect Riley to be right there at the top of their board. But as always, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Before you leave, be sure to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. If you're already one of our loyal subscribers, be sure to hit the notification bell. We notified when we drop content on our YouTube channel. As always, I am Justin Smith, the Director of Recruiting for Touchdown Alabama.